so this is going to be a driving video for this 1953 uh, Rolls-Royce Silver Wraith HJ Moliner Limo. Uh, she has 31,000 original miles. Uh, she is, uh, her paint is called a Cadillac Green. Um, I was asking Harry about it actually. Um, wondering why it was a Cadillac green. Yeah, it's, I've never seen that before. Uh, but on the Rolls-Royce factory build sheet, it's uh, stipulated specifically as Cadillac green, which I assume is Brewster green. Um, but uh, anyway, it's a, how would you describe it? Oh, it's, it looks black in the shadows, and then when the light hits it directly, it's this deep, rich green that just, it's just like a black green. It's gorgeous. It's really gorgeous. It's very, very deep, elegant um, green. Yeah, it's very hard beautiful. to see until the sun hits it. Yeah. Yeah, which is really mysterious and, and beautiful, I think. Um, well... This Rolls was built for Mr. Jack Morris of the Del Rose Nursery in Eaton, England. And also, the, uh, this Rolls Royce was in the um, October, what is it, 1957? Yeah, well, let me, let me give a little more yeah. detail. So okay. in, um, it stayed in England uh, till... Uh, we, we think right around 1955, so just after a couple of years, um, and then it was um, it was sent to uh, Canada, and right. um, and in October of 50, uh, 1957, the Queen and um, Prince Philip went on their uh, royal tour of Canada. Um, for four days, and uh, uh, and actually the, the big deal there, Carrie, was that um, she was the first reigning monarch, monarch to ever inaugurate a parliament, a Canadian parliament. And so wow. um, uh, Queen Elizabeth uh, did so, and um, they... What's really cool <clears throat> is, and you'll see the photos and maybe some video, of her in this incredible dress for the state dinner. Um, and it was a designer dress that featured these jeweled maple leaves uh, uh, on, on the dress. Um, and um, it's, it's my assumption that that's what they used this car for because it wasn't used for parades since they used open cars for the parades. Right. Uh, so I'm thinking that that's, that's when they used this. Well, and you see that there's a plaque here, too, that you know, states that it says, For Her Majesty Queen Elizabeth. It's really, really Yeah, I don't cool. know if I can get it in this video while we're driving, but yeah, it's, it's pretty. What amazes me is the condition of, of this Rolls-Royce. It's, it's beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. The wood is in, in incredible condition. The seats are incredible, and it runs like a dream. It's it started right up. There was no issue. Yeah, really a, easy to shift. Thirty-one thousand mile um, original car. Now it's benefited from a beautiful paint job uh, or a repaint. We don't know when it was done. We don't have documentation for it. Um, I mean, it looks like a perfect original, but we're assuming that it can't be. <laughs> but so we're assuming that it's been repainted and the wood, I think has probably been done, but the leather, the carpets, the Mouton overlay in, in the back here. That's right. Um, is uh, original. I mean, it's just really, truly uh, spectacular. And like you said, I mean, it drives like a 31,000 mile car should. Yeah, it's exceptional by far superior <laughs> it uh, made its way into the u.s in uh, 2007 so it's been it left canada uh, in 2007 for the u.s the last owner actually um, uh, the last owner 
paid $115,000 for the car. I mean, that, that this car has been really uh, prized as a, as a, you know, a, a very, very unique, very important car in the Rolls-Royce world. Well, hasn't it been a member of the uh, Rolls-Royce Owners Club since 73, right? Yes, exactly. Yeah, yeah, the first time, the first directory appearance was, look, I mean, just think of that. That's, yeah. that's 50 years ago, yeah. right? That yeah. it's, it's this club, a long or the, time. The, this car has been in the club for 50 years. Yeah, since 1973. Yeah. Yeah. I love the four-speed uh, manual transmission. Yeah, ways. she I, shifts. Isn't it nice? Kind of, yeah, just seamless. And it's it's such a short throw. It's so mm -hmm. easy. What you know, whether it's a Silver Dawn, um, a even even my um, going back to my 1935 three and a half liter, it's similar. Uh, but these transmissions are just absolutely wonderful, and I love the right hand position and right hand drive. It's not as awkward as you would think. Well, it feels so much like being in a left hand drive position, right? Yeah, um, it does. Yeah, it's, it's great. It's not uncomfortable. It doesn't feel weird. And, you know, so this car has power assist brakes, right? You know, the four speed transmission. Uh, so it's, you know, pretty basic and simple, but you know, easy, easy to drive. And that, that's nice though, too. Some more detail of the wood. Well, thank you, Carrie. Oh, thank you. My pleasure. What an honor. <laughs> All right. Well, thanks for watching. See you on the road. See you soon.